Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Yes, welcome to <sighs> Thursday, and welcome to Ryan's big return to the bin. Da -da -da -da! It was <laughs> fun. Oh my god, I hate. It was amazing. I'm not gonna say right. I teared up a little bit, and I didn't. <laughs> no, it was so nice to go back. I feel like my my trip, my first inaugural trip coming back, was actually like pretty decent. Like I actually feel like I found some good stuff, which I would have been so let down if I got there and it would have been dark. I would have yeah. been so upset. For the last <laughs> week before this week, we were both on a week long family vacation, mm -hmm. and then the week before that, Ryan, as we had said, had a course he was teaching with our yes. local art center. Which was so fun. Ryan had been away from the bins for like a good at least two weeks. Well, in the week before that, I was in Denver. Yeah. So I literally, like, hadn't had a good, proper bins trip in so long. <laughs> and I was over here finding all this, like, really yeah, good Yeah, and stuff. Jack is pulling <laughs> freaking little Prada bags yeah. out of the bin. Yeah. But that's fine. Yeah. I don't have FOMO. I feel bad for you. You know, yeah. I, do. I do. I do. I really feel bad for you. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The bins really welcomed Ryan back with open arms because honestly, they were quite <laughs> good. They were really good. Obviously, it's hard to compare them to that last haul that I had on my own. That was very, very, very good. And they weren't at that level, but they were still very cute. good though, which is awesome because both of us would love to stock up on some fall items. Yes. Very, very, very good very like right now. Transitional pieces, sweatshirts, light sweaters, other things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, fleece, lots of bras. Flannels, fleece. Speaking of fall, we are kind of wondering when you guys think we should start our fall type content and fall mm -hmm. type videos. What we were thinking was end of the second week of August or maybe in the third week slash middle of August. Mm -hmm. But let us know if you guys would like to see it sooner, if that's too soon for you, because of course we're going to do the fall trend report. Yeah. Then we're going to do a fall research and development at Mall of America. Mm -hmm. We have fall bolos, many different fall bolo categories that we want to do. We have a lot of mm -hmm. fall stuff, so we try to start a little early, and of course you'd like to learn the trends probably before the season yes. actually begins. Mm -hmm. So just let us know when you guys want to see some fall stuff starting. The second channel has a lot of fall stuff going on already, but second this... second channel is literally just a fall channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, which speaking of that too, nice segue once again. We do have a second channel video going up tomorrow, so if you want to see that, that's the first link below. We've been doing them weekly. They're fun. But They're really fun. I suppose we should jump right Right into the we're hall. Three minutes in, and you have not seen I a know, single garment. I know, but we're just yeah gonna go on. There's no order this time, and I think I have a little bit more than Ryan, so I might be doing like a couple more things, and then mm -hmm. he'll do some, and then I'll do a couple more. So I will start it off. My first item is my one item I think that I got for me, and this is my one non-clothing item. This I just is so fun. I didn't get I any shoes or bags this time for some reason. They just this there's one switch mm -hmm. out, and it was I didn't find any either. I have one that like good. duffel bag, yeah. but I didn't get any shoes. This is a beanbag toss game. Look at how fun this is, though. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. It's a beanbag toss Halloween game. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I think you just hang it up on like a tree or something and you try to toss them through the mouth. Oh my God, I like a cute little Halloween party. Yeah. How fun would this so, be for the kitties? That's for me. Love. I had to rescue that. Then, yeah, again, no order. So we're just gonna jump into randomly <laughs> selecting things Whatever comes out of the bag. This is a pair of Athleta leggings. These are in a nice like sage color and they're actually extremely soft. Yeah. I need to de these a little bit. I haven't taken any pictures or listed anything, which actually basically all of this should be listed by the time that you guys see this. So Athleta, size small, and honestly, sage sometimes gives me like a fall vibe. I think it's with like a, a little white and black flannel. Yeah. And a cute little pair of boots. These are really soft, so they'd be super comfy. This also gave me fall vibes. This is Madewell texture and thread, and it's nice large, which for Madewell is actually pretty good. This is like a textured cotton faux oh, wrap top with kind of wide sleeves. And it's like thicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it has this tie detail at the side. So I thought that that was really adorable. This is definitely more of a spring summer vibe and it's a brand that I don't usually sell myself it's misguided oh. but it's a great size it's a size US 16 and it also gives me like an etoile oh this is so cute with this little like it. flouncy hem to it mm -hmm. oh, and I it love does that. have a tie belt that can go all the way around it's just hanging right now so cute the thing with this was I didn't feel nervous picking it up because a Plato's closet will take it if I can't sell mm -hmm. it which is the exact same situation as this this actually got four Plato's but then I looked it up and decided I would try selling it myself. So this is Billabong. Billabong. But it's a collaboration with Sincerely Jewels. 
And actually that's a pretty expensive and very modern collaboration. So it has these puffed shoulder sleeves. Look at how wide And this really, are. yeah, they're balloon sleeves too. They're so cute. And this really nice long like tied front for the drama. Always for the drama. And I think that this is really, really cute. And it's an XL. So it's actually, really cute. that's great. But there's some other billabong. The billabong, and I want to say it's like, it's salty blonde or like blondy salty something. One of those is a super- Salted cracker. I think it's salty blonde, but like, I chips. honestly do not remember. But it's one of those ones that is so good for some reason. Like the girlies will go a wall for the billabong, salty billabong, blonde, salt like Mrs. Pepper. Blonde, salty potato <gasps> chip. Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Paprika. 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 <laughs> Ah! This is so frustrating. Love. Okay, so remember how on Tuesday we talked about twee being a new, <laughs> like, category, a new aesthetic that's trendy with the youngins? This gave me heavy twee vibes. So this is Ann Taylor, it's... and it's a size small, and this is clearly from like 2008. Oh, or yeah. 2010 mm -hmm. or something like that. But this is really like what Twee is. So I mean like the colors are kind of cute. Yeah. Twee is not like necessarily my style. No. But obviously if it's a very trendy aesthetic, it is some people's styles. And if it's in the bins, sure. This screamed fall to me, of course. This is actually Sears. <laughs> really, really, really old Sears. I wonder Unless if Unless it's is a like different like brand with worth Sears. More money. Sears Roebuck and Co. What in the world? Oh yeah, that's just it's like the old name for Sears. Wow. Because in Des Moines, the sign still said Sears, Roebuck, and Co. And this is made in Before Korea, which means it's really old too. And it's actually a medium tall, which sure. I thought was kind of interesting. And it's a wool blend. It's but this cute. is just a really nice vintage flannel. And yeah. since it's a wool blend, it's obviously like a much higher quality flannel than ones that you can just get at like a fast fashion store or something. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would pick this up and try it. And it has this nice kind of quilted shoulder area to it with some light discoloration, but nothing too bad. So that's really cute. Yeah. First up for me. Okay, let's get the swimsuits and the bras out of the way because there is a chunk of them. <sighs> First up for swimsuits. I don't know how this goes and it infuriates me. You find me. a lot of these. Those and like I, wrap around. I don't like, ugh. Ugh, this infuriates me. I was trying to put oh. one of these together earlier. Good luck taking photos. And I couldn't, fi I'm gonna Google the stock photo and then I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna like, I think it's like this in some variety. Um, This is Athleta, size small and it's newer. And I love this like really pretty kind of like abstract looking. It's a really pretty color. I know, the like purple. floral print collage thing on it. So I'm definitely gonna like base that off of a model picture. This one also infuriated me. So I washed all my swimsuits. It's a very angry To like ball. clean them obviously and this freaking swimsuit top so it's becca which is a super expensive swimsuit brand it's sold on revolve and like some of the trendier like beach places it was size medium and if on the bottoms which was amazing but this top is literally like a harry houdini jacket that you wear in the ocean it made me red in the face <laughs> mad trying to figure out how to put this thing together but it's again one of those like you wrap it around you at like the midsection kind of a thing. I hate swimsuits. And hate... don't get them. Oh, well, I like oh them because they're easy to store and I make a lot of money off of them. Oh, and they're so them. easy. Well, the they're easy to store. Easy, the bottoms have these beautiful. little like... But when the padding comes out, I get red in the eyes mad because it's so hard to get the and padding back into me, those teeny little... And you ask me why I don't like swim. <sighs> It's just frustrating. It is very frustrating, <laughs> um, but that's okay. So this is really cute. And look at how easy this is. It's really really cute. pretty J. Crew pink, kind of like a textured gingham yeah. swimsuit. I don't know if like J. Crew swimsuit tags go the same way as like the other tags, if like the older ones. Picnic print. Are small, summer 16, so yeah. But this one um, was new because it still has the sanitary liner in the bottom, which is amazing. That could be like twee. Kind of. It's this that gives me like 50s. I was gonna 60s. say, it's very like pinup with this like yeah. kind of underwire looking thing under Cute, the boob. Though. Okay, so now bras. All these are bras. This is, I wanna say, third love bra. Third love. Third love. Oh, it is. Okay. So here it is. We're in the just you like, mean and beauty this glue. My... Oh. Um, so Third Love is a very, I don't know if they're expensive, but they just have like a really good following a bra brand. So whenever I find them in the bins, I like to pick them up. And this one has this really pretty, like floral leaf looking lace design, size 34D. When you haul bras, you really have to hold them like upside down. You kind of do. Show what to they be like, look like, yeah. Um, this one is Third Love again, 36C and a half. Not 
the foggiest wow. clue as to now what that means. Halves. Third love, 36 scene half. Yeah, okay, so women, please tell me what the half means because Probably I don't I just know. assume half a size difference. I've sold one of these bralettes before, and the bralettes actually do pretty good because they're $60, $70 new, I'm pretty sure. So that was very exciting. And then I think most of the rest of these are free people bras. So this really cute little... Glad you found all these, because another thing that I do not like to get. I love free people bras. Um, This is a new one. I haven't seen this one before. It's this really pretty kind of like black lace trimmed bralette with this like two lace thing that goes down the back. Usually it's either like one or a nun. This one is a size small. Cottage core. Very cool. That's think. fairy. Oh, is this- I'm like trying to now Would this be fairy? I think it would be that because would of the be color. Fairy. Yeah. So this is free people as well. This one I think is one of my favorites just because of how like pretty this lace is on the side. And I think the color is really nice. This one is a size large. This, oh, this isn't free people. I lied. This is Victoria's Secret. This is a Victoria's Secrets size medium. She now has pretty, multiple secrets. She Victoria's is an secrets. untrustworthy woman. It's Victoria's Secrets, plural. <laughs> um, I feel like that'd be really good like game, like an app. Victoria's Secrets. It's this really pretty, like, purple floral Whoa. lace. The back of that um, makes me a little Very nervous. skimpy bodysuit. So there is a very small piece of fabric. She's been cleaned. Everything's fine. Nobody worry. But I just thought it was pretty. And usually when I find, like, Victoria's Secret lingerie, it does pretty good. This is another Free People. This one's a size... 34D, so clearly one woman was like, no bras. Really pretty, like, blue lace, very sheer, little bralette. Super lapis cute. lazuli color. Oh, lapis lazuli, yeah, something like that. So this is Victoria's Secret as well. Um, this one was new with tags. It's very tiny, it's very small, but it's this really pretty, like, satin pink color, and this one is from the Sexy Little Things collection, size 34B, $48 for this. For a little piece of tool, and a couple of straps. Okay. Okay, now back we're to, done with bras and some, I was gonna say, back to some less <laughs> strappy things. This piece of Intimates is, no, I'm just kidding. This is Smart Wall size medium, and Ryan's had one of these before. These are like the mm -hmm. base layer, like leggings, like leg warmer it's like a situation. Tight. This has printed on it kind of some sort of snowflake shapes, and it's a nice purple color. Yeah. But you said yours sold really well, didn't you? They did. So mine, the picture was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life, because there's no Your stock, picture? there's no stock photos for any of them so you just have to like lay out these thin wool tights <sighs> um but they sell for 20 bucks pretty quick this is a torrid piece and this is a size four so it's a 4x i thought this was really really cute i like the print obviously much more spring and summery but it's definitely still hot outside so oh, yeah fitting then this i believe is anthropology this is mave if i can ever find this label this oh. is a size us8 this is so cute it's a little bit older because it doesn't say anthro on the tag but this is like a midi dress that i think it's like a linen blend it's, it's really cute it's very thick and like high quality this, like... and it's kind of an overall oh it's just, like a little smock dress an overall style yeah like smock dress and on the back they cross over even though one oh. just became unbuttoned but Super cute. With and the then buttons there's buttons that go on down the back. back. Yeah. Okay. So that's nice. Love that. Good for fall. I feel good like I haven't found piece. a good anthropology piece in so long. Uh, and I, you like literally pulled like half a store out of a bin. Uh, this is actually new with tags, and I'm sure we all know what this is, who it's by, and actually probably what the style what? name is. So this is free people. Intimate. And this is the classic trapeze dress, which I feel like we've all had. That's what these look like now. Comes in 10 million <laughs> different prints, patterns, and colors, and like textures. I think there's lace ones. Mm -hmm. and there's... Yeah, I know the lace ones. But this one's really, this really pretty. Cute. Cute. And especially new with tag, I was very excited to find that. And it's a what? size large too. So like- When did you find that? At the bins. <laughs> you mean when? Let's see, we were there for like, 15 minutes and 45 <laughs> seconds. This is rag and bone, and there is no size in it, but I think it's like a extra small or small. It is like a turtleneck. Here's the turtleneck, ribbed stretchy turtleneck. Long sleeve dress with a twist front right there. And it kind of like has a wrap detail to it as well. Again, really good like transitional into mm -hmm. fall piece. And I feel like those thinner black maxi dresses are always popular. Like people wear them all the time. Yeah. I think it's midi though. This Ryan yeah. threw to me and I was going to send it to the real real, but actually I might sell it myself just because of the season we're going into. It is really cute. So it's theory and it's size four. 
And it's just a really nice Is it wool? structured blazer. It's a wool blend. It's only like 25% wool, which would mean it's like less itchy. But it's, it's really super cute. nice. Yeah, and there's no like staining on any arm area and there's no tears in the lining or anything. And the, the sleeve cuffs look nice. And it's, this is very it would be a nice one to like wear open too. Mm -hmm. It's not super, I don't really like blazers when they're like pretty form fitting, but that one I feel like is a little bit more oversized, not totally oversized, but somewhat. Box. This is a really good find. So this is Patagonia, size large. And it's this super freaking nice. Is this one of the Los Sherpa, Gatos hoodies? I don't know the Patagonia styles. Like it might all. be. I had one that looks like this that was printed and it sold for like 95 to 100 hundred and something dollars in like two days. This is like, yeah, it's like mm. a super nice like fleece. I almost maybe think I've had one of these before too. <laughs> I, I have just one don't that know the name. Similar. I'm sure this, I have not listed this yet or even really looked up much about it, but I'm <laughs> sure that that's probably worth a pretty penny. Oh yeah. Next up for me. Oh, I found this t-shirt in the bins. I watched it and put it on today because it's so fun. I told myself when I moved to Minnesota, I wanted a t-shirt from each of the big sports teams so I could assimilate easier. People wouldn't know I'm from Iowa, but I found this. It's this really fun vintage 90s like Vikings t-shirt. And then on the back, it has the big like, oh. Vikings logo. I love this. I think it's fun. And I think people are like, oh, Ryan's into you're into football now, I guess. No, I have no idea. But I want to look like I am because I want to be one and of them. Be like, did you catch the game? I'll You'll be like, be like, I was painting. I'll be like, I am an educator. Sorry, I was serving the community. Um, okay, so next up for me is this Banana Republic size large, really nice men's jacket. I have good luck with these. Uh, the blazers, the men's blazers, I tend to sell pretty quickly. And the men's jackets, I tend to do pretty good with. It has this like nice little quilted nylon situation and then the rest of it is just like fleece. I almost there. feel like nice. you do Banana Republic every once in a while and I do Ann Taylor every once in a while. Yep, absolutely. And there's like very oh. little crossover. No. <laughs> okay, so here's my bag. I love this. It's so cute. It says Mickey and Friends on it. And I don't see a year, but it's definitely old because like yeah, that, that character design style. is super old. Um, and there's no tags inside. The inside's super clean though. It's just like a nice little- Is it official Disney? Yes, because it says copyright Disney on it, mm. I think. Yeah. And if I could find a tag, I'd like to see one, but I do not see one. But this is just super cute. You could maybe reverse image search. For Bebop? I think that's gonna do quite good. There's a lot for Bebop in here. So if I see Deep anything- Pop Deep Pop. Means. I call it Bebop because it's more fun. So if I pull anything out and it looks like- You have to remember, sometimes new people come to watch. And new you people, I'm speak sorry, I totally forget about you. And I sound like the kid from the Thornberries. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if anything makes anybody laugh, please know it's for Bebop. Nice, so, nice this, disclaimer. Well, and like some of the stuff I definitely was like, this is the ugliest thing ever. And then here I am, be like, look what I found to sell on the internet. So Jack threw this to me, which I'm not gonna laugh at because this is kind of nice. It's vintage cachet. Again, one of those types that's gonna make me scream. I can't hold it up. Um, it has this like detachable slip thing in it. So like this part is separate from your like top if you wanted to wear it down. But it's these really fun a little cheetah print. Moment. This whole like ruched sides and like this where it ruches so in the middle popular. and on the sides is so popular. We were just at Target this morning. And like this kind of half a of the wild fable stuff looks just like that. Oh yeah. So um I don't know if cache like exists anymore. No it does not. Size small. It has not existed for a while. I was gonna That's say That's why all of it is like it's super like super white Y2K. Y2K. So, and then after that, I found a bin of free people, but most of it ended up being damaged, which was really disappointing, but these are not. So these are a size large and it's this really cute oh, pair. Yep, they are. are they? No. Don't do that to me. <laughs> um, it's this really cute <laughs> pair of shorts. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, is this a skirt? No, they're shorts. I thought it was going to be a skirt and I wasn't super really excited cute. about it. But now that I know that oh, they're shorts. Oh, so comfortable. I know. I like low-key want to find something in this fabric as like PJs because they're super amazing. But no, I thought that was super cute. And if you live to be pajamas? If I hear Debbie say that, I swear to God. Um, BCBG Max's area. Extra small. Depop's favorite little brand. Black, ruched, all kinds of decisions. Form fitting. Yes, off the shoulder, one of these, very deep pop. Very, very, very deep pop. What would that one be? Y2K? Yeah. Is like a trend. I don't think it fit into a core. Oh, you mean a, no, I don't mm -mm. think it would be. Um, This is J. Crew size 29. Okay. And these are really just, again, seasonal purchase because these are really nice, like mm -hmm. green utility pants. The fabric on these is it's like a canvas. super nice. It's very thick and high quality. These are very Janet. So yeah, that's these are very true. Janet. So I thought I'd pick those up. Good fall piece. Mm -hmm. 
this is actually Ugg. And if mm. you did not know, Ugg clothing actually does really well. Mm -hmm. This is a size small. And it's like a mock neck, kind of like textured fleece sweater. It kind of gives me Barefoot Dreams vibes. Kind of, yeah. Not as soft because nothing's as soft as Barefoot Dreams. But oh, this I love. And it's a weird brand that I don't really know at all. But I love it. It's like Elon or Elan. Oh, it's E-L-A-N. That like Nordstrom? But Rick. this is so Rock. Zadig and Voltaire. Very much like so. this is almost like a knockoff, which maybe it is. It's actually like not that bad no. of a sweater. It's too. like an acrylic sweater, so it's not like wool or anything, but mm -hmm. it's still it's chunkier and thicker, so it'd be very comfortable. Also, the rock is like in faux Sherpa, which is really oh. nice. Cute. It's a size medium. The tag's like on the inside. This is a vintage gilded heavy cotton sweatshirt, and it's a size large. And it's this vintage hike, hike, Smoky Mountains. How cute is this? I know. Brandy Somebody's Melville little grandma is going to buy this from me and knock it off. I can oh, absolutely. It. It's from the, yeah, Smoky Mountains National Park. And it has one spot on the back. There, you can kind of see it. Just like a darker spot. That's okay. Otherwise, it's, it's super fine. Cute, and the whole front is completely embroidered on instead of being printed, which is super nice. Lately, I've been finding a bunch of these at our bins. It's just like older free people sweaters. These like open knit ones. This though. one's a size medium, but I know there is still like people out there. So is that this one Twee? These. Would this be Twee or not no, quite? Twee, I feel like is a little bit more quirky. This would be like okay. the same time period as Twee. Yes. But not the Twee okay. aesthetic. Size medium, chunky knit. Again, there are people out there so that cute. still want these. So in the bins, I definitely would get them. At a thrift store and stuff, no, yeah. I wouldn't. Next is a Lululemon. <laughs> this is a size 12 Lulu, which is really nice. Again, you like never find size 12 Lulu. This pattern's really cute. And it's, yeah, and it's like new condition. This is so nice. And it was in a bin of like nothing, hmm. which is weird. That is always kind of funky. Like yeah. how does one nice thing end up with a whole bunch of nothing? But it's super, super nice. Super cute. Okay. Next up for me, I have a little Lulu Lemon too. So these were sitting on top of a bin. Wow, those are short. They are micro, mini, itty bitty, teeny tiny. Um, I think the waistband, the elastic, might have just gotten a little like Stretch. stretched out because it's a little like supposed to be a full length waistband. Um, these are that's like a board short if I've ever seen one. Micro. The little Lulu logo, but there's no size. But this pattern is so pretty. With like all these like really super I would vibrant. Not have guessed those to be Lulu based flowers. On no, I know. And there's one little pocket like right on the side, and there's no size tag in it. But it has this little hole, so these might be a swim bottom, a swimsuit of some sort. Um. So usually when I find Zara, I give it to Debbie to sell. But I'm gonna sell this one myself because I like this color. I think it's nice for the fall. Zara size medium older label but i love these kind of like plisse shapeless dresses with these like ties oh, on them i just think it's a nice little like wear it with a cute little sandal if you live so and it's long too like this is a maxi dress if you live somewhere like warmer for the fall as i smack the wall behind me <sighs> Okay, then, oh, this was a find. Speaking of Barefoot Dreams, I found what I do believe to be a set of them. So the first one is a dress, size extra small. It does, unfortunately, have a teeny little hole up here, but it's just like the seam just came unsewn. So I'm just gonna fix that up and it'll be no problem. Um, I've never seen a dress from them before. Like a house dress, and it has this cute little, like, I know, I was slit on the bottom, and it's that super either. amazing, like, super soft material. And then, right next to it, I found this, and I think this is just like, it's not shrunk. I think she just needs to be kind of like shaken out a little bit. But it's this like little blue shawl situation. Um, same size, small, medium. But I like coastal super grandma. cute, very coastal grandma. The brand on this TBD. Like it used to have one, and now it does not. But this is very Depop. Maybe witchcore. And it's this like flowy, textured, like mummy wrap looking maxi skirt. Mummy and it has, <laughs> this is very deep out to me. This like fold over skirt band situation. So some individual on the internet. I would actually, I feel like fit into a lot it. of the cores we talked about. It's, I could kind of see it working cottage, cottage, gore. either cottage, which core, 100%. it could be worked in a way to be kind of like fairy-ish. I think it could be like, if you're like a green fairy yeah. instead of like a pink fairy. So Jack threw this to me and I was head over heels in love with it the minute I saw it. It's Nippon Boutique, size 10, obviously vintage. It is this beautiful 100% silk, little like 80s dress with these little like bows on the shoulder and this pleated skirt oh this is so cute and look at this little pattern 
Oh, if, I'm absolutely obsessed with this if dress. If Ryan wasn't there, I probably so would have cute. got this myself. I just know he has much better luck with vintage dresses. It is. And I believe that that is an older piece by Albert Nippon or Albert, Albert Nippon, Nippon or however you say his name. So this, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet because this brand is kind of expensive. So it's new tags, um, Soya and Kayo, which if you don't know, is a really expensive um, outerwear brand. And this is like one of those big oh. knit shawls and i'm worried that this was a fab fit fun situation because like why would this be they would have something this new with tag in the it bins logo there yeah so i may look this up and it doesn't have a retail in the back um but i would be kind of surprised if it was um i'm gonna look up comps and i may end up sending it to the Google. Canada. i may end up sending it to the Google. yes we have talked about soya and kayo soya during like winter kayo. coat bolos in the past mm -hmm. i know okay i have a few more fun things and then i'll be done i promise so this is jack just sold a coat like this today but his was zara this one's h m just regular h m but it's this really nice faux suede little coat and it has this little like thin belt that goes with it this is very janet i love ultra suede so if this doesn't sell it's probably gonna go to her but it's this super cute like minimal very trendy looking coat situation so this was a fine and a half so it's Ravi. Lavi, Rebecca Taylor, there we go, uh, size extra large, but I just thought this was the cutest little blouse. It has this, like, kind of cottage core looking, like, ruffly collar, and it has this, like, really cute little micro floral. It's very doughed. Honestly, some of her Lavi stuff now is, like, a lot prettier than her normal stuff. Also, I think Lavi can be an anthro. Yes, I 100% agree with that. But I just thought this was nice, and, like, oh, an XL, yeah. 100%. I'd buy that at, like, a 100%, normal 100%. Okay, so I have two more experiences, and then I'll be done. Experiences. I promise. Experiences. Experiences. So these are, heard, they were right I've on top of each other. before, but not experiences. Experiences. This is a Juicy Couture Neon Hot Pink. So this is 100% Barbie color. I was just going to say, name that color. Barbie <laughs> track jacket. It has this amazing bejeweled J zipper. And I think this one's newer because I yeah. think this is the newer tag. Um, it doesn't have anything on the back, which is kind of a bummer. But like, I think the zipper makes up for it. That like bedazzled. I feel like you'd buy like the Barbie like gym play set and she's in that. She's, she's in this. Like, she's like Barbie goes for a job. She goes, let's do cardio. <laughs> this one I do believe is vintage. So here's the label and there's that little J zipper. And this one is just a nice classic gray hoodie. And these are tiny. Like what size is this? Small. They're both small. That's a teeny little jacket. So I was very excited to find a couple of juicy pieces before fall because I know the suits get popular. I just have a few more pairs of pants of bottoms that I'm going to show you guys and then we will let you guys go for the day. So first up, I was like debating with myself if I wanted to get these. These are a pair of vintage Lee straight leg like mom slash dad jeans. Mm -hmm. Perfect color. Mm -hmm. for the season. Yeah. I feel like I've I said, I've said this fall so many times. And then they are go. actually, I feel like when you find vintage jeans, they're usually quite large. But these are about like a size 29, I would say, which I feel like will be a really easy to sell size. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I grabbed those. This was my first find. It's a pair of Madewell jeans. And mm -hmm. these are the nine inch high rise skinny, size 29 as well. These are nice. Again, Great for fall. Good little, like, washed pair of black jeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't really pick up Madewell jeans a ton in thrift stores anymore, but no. in the bins, I definitely If would. they're newer and, like, a cute style, I still will. These are Assets by Spanx, which I've never tried Assets by Spanx, but I know that they do still sell pretty good. Where were they sold? Target. Target. But they're, they're discontinued. That's what it was. But they're also, like, almost just as good a quality it's as It's the Spanx, exact so. same stuff. I think Target just wanted a lot. Yeah. <laughs> size medium last thing not that much of a like shebang but these are just some american eagle shorts and they're the festival style that's one of the styles that i do pick up to sell myself mm -hmm. and these are size eight cute 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 they, they have like an little, interesting like, pockets yeah the pockets are like embroidered they got a little detail on them 35 okay. minutes of pure joy <laughs> <laughs> one reviewer wrote 35 minutes of pure joy. That's One other viewer like. wrote, 35 minutes of nonsensical babbling. <laughs> anyway. One reviewer wrote, I fell asleep halfway through. I and then woke asleep up at and minute it was four. Over. Anyways, anyway. we will see you guys on Saturday <laughs> for a regular What's Old Saturday. Unless you would like to join us on Friday on the second channel, then we will see you there. Or we will also see you guys on Tuesday for either another haul or another video. So if you have any topic or anything you'd like us to cover, let us know. 
but I'm sure next week, once again, there'll be one informative video and mm -hmm. one haul. That's kind of what we've been trying to do. We will see you then, <sighs> one of those times. Goodbye. Bye.